Now that that um, has all dried out, uh, in this final part, um, we'll um, continue with one or two uh, shadows. But the most important thing is that we restrain ourselves from adding and adding and adding to this watercolour, because it's essential as far as I'm concerned to keep it looking fresh. But make sure that any subsequent marks make friends, join on, connect to the ones we already have. I don't want them to look um, as if they've been cut out and stuck on. So let's finish off this painting off now. Right, now let's, um, we'll just do a little bit more on this um, this hedge here it's very important just trying to join that on um, it's always difficult to it was I felt it when I was doing this it was more important to to do the uh, the gate than fuss about here um, Now the distance, let's have cobalt and light red. A little bit more bluey, I think, in order to have it go back. And then we've got this near tree, or bush rather, on the left hand side. Burnt sienna and viridian. Could be a bit darker. If you haven't got it right the first time, change it straight away. Don't wait for it to dry. Raw, raw umber. Just make it a little bit lighter. Keep changing this. Um, raw sienna and Virgin There's a sort of sapling or something growing out here which is nicely sort of pushes the eye into the picture. I'll have a bit of a shadow there because it's quite dark underneath these very often. And then we can introduce some shadows across here. Bit of burnt sienna with that, make the shadow a little bit warmer. Come across here, it's now a chance to help de define the contours of the land here. Um, and then it'll go sort of up the, the bank here. These are shadows from sort of trees over my left hand shoulder and they nicely point towards the, um, the, 
the main area of interest really the, which is the um, which is the gate I think we, we all tend to look at the areas where there's evidence of human activity and in this case it's only the gate um, a bit of raw umber just to give an edge on that And the wood pile, a bit of a shadow here, and a little bit of drawing with a smaller brush. It's on the edge of the picture, so it, it's very much a case of just indicating it could be something even if the viewer may not be able to identify exactly what it is. I want to sort of satisfy their curiosity, but I don't want to arouse it too much. I've tried to paint each area just the once. Um, at this stage, um, it's really just a case of refining certain things. I just got to be careful that I don't lose the very lively freshness um, that I'm after. A um, little bit of shadow on one side of this gate here, just a light grey. Um, just the odd shadow across that of the tree um, some dark accents well before I do those I'm just going to warm up some of this grass with a dilute wash a very dilute wash of raw sienna just across here and just part of this um, now if you do this do it very very lightly so that you don't disturb the underneath wash and contaminate it then some dark accents the winds of blue have some alizarin crimson and uh, some burnt sienna make it a bit of cadmium I want it to be really quite dark um, about a bit of ultramarine just to sort of darken odd little bits in here that will be deep in the shade there and there just smudge the so that they join on to the to the rest of the picture really if I can get some real rich darks against some of my really light areas then it will show them off a little bit more Now the other thing I feel is some of these edges are a bit sharp so I'm just going to soften that edge there and perhaps soften that edge there essentially so that the tree joins joins the grass 
I could have a little bit of a gap there as well, I think. Just so there's a link between those and there as well. Finally, some tracks, raw umber um, and uh, cobalt violet with a little bit of burnt umber, perhaps. Real quite stiff mixture, so they have these. A little bit of texture on this foreground here. And I think we'll call that uh, done before we start to overdo it, or at least I start to overdo it. Well, thanks for watching this series of three videos. I hope you've enjoyed it and it will encourage you to adopt this carefree approach to painting watercolours um, on a simple scene. Um, it's a good advice, I think, to um, take a simple scene, simplify it and paint it simply in order to retain that nice, clean, fresh, loose look. So make sure that when you do this, you um, restrain yourself a bit, but also enjoy um, the painting process. Thanks again for watching.